another HubSpot tutorial with the twist of lead magnets. So I'm going to teach you how you can import a list on HubSpot and at the same time use Seamless AI to look for a contacts for your lead generation. So Seamless AI allow you to um, look for a, a a contacts according to this filter. So uh, by titles, by company or a website, keywords, and a name. So let's say, for example, we'll look for, um, um, yeah, Neil Patel. So go into the search here, and then I'm going to type in like the the if you can fill in all the filters in here all the fields in here um the result would be more realistic or more accurate so company i'll put in neil patel and what's the keywords um marketing there's there's a lot of people that have similar name right so neil patel and then if i type in search um you can see here um like this one so if you click this search here um it normally provides you all the fields that they lock okay and um yeah you can by the way you can use my link below to get a free credits for seamless.ais as you can see here this is the email uh, the phone number and the location now you can also add this on the on your lease so simply click the set a lease um you can create a lease if you want to but i already have this um my general lease here so click the i'm gonna select the podcast outreach hopefully he will respond back so podcast outreach click save if you want this to be imported like all of the contacts um you want it to be imported in, on your crm platform like hubspot simply go into the contact section and um you can use the filter because what happens is this one is a random contact like all it's a mix of different leads so if you just want to filter a specific lease um select this at the bottom part here so select this one and um let's say i'm gonna search in podcast outreach search so like for example these are all the leads that i have gathered in so click that contacts and then um download and then um click the download and we'll type in podcast outreach so sim normally seamless that ai will um email you once the um, csv is ready so since this is just so few that's why it's super fast so i'm gonna remove some of the fields in here that are not necessary and yeah i'll get back to you once it's done because i mean you can import this one on hubspot but if to avoid extra thing or extra effort you need to clean it up first here before putting it on the other on the hubspot crm so i'm gonna get back to you later once i'm done cleaning all of this stuff um yeah So let's say this is already good. Like I need to really spend time for create for looking for leads. Um, I'm just giving you an example. That's why we only have four leads for now. But anyway, once you're ready good with the fields, you can then click the file and then click the saved. Um, I'll put it here. Um, email outreach podcast. So overwrite and yes, and then go into your HubSpot so a hubspot account and um go to the contacts lease and then click this import and then click this start so these options um you can 
use an open out lease, like you you want to disqualify someone in the lease. So we want to register people. So choose this one. Next, and then do you want to be, are you going to import multiple CSV? So we only have one CSV for now. So I'm going to choose one file, but you can definitely import multiple CSV if you want to. So next, and then objects. So do you want to, because there's, five types of objects in HubSpot. There is a products, there's a deals, there is a ticket, there is a contacts, and um, there is a company. So for now, I just wanted to use this one for the object because we will be doing a cold outreach. So if they, um, if they dig further to our funnel, then we probably can move them into the deals and other stuff. So contacts, next, and then let's select these contacts again. As I said, these are the type of deals and con in uh, objects in HubSpot, the companies, contacts, deals, products, and tickets. So just contacts, next, and then we will import the CSV that we just cleaned up. So next, so we're ready on the mapping side. Um, this is for this is the Excel that you we created. So you just need to map up to the HubSpot property. So first name should be equivalent to first name, last name, title, company name. Now, if you don't want this to be imported, you can um just click the don't import column or simply look for a appropriate property in HubSpot. So company name, so email, um, company phone number. So let's look for a phone number here and country, so country and region. Now, make sure that all of this are check mark. Otherwise, this next button will not be um, enabled. You can choose the don't import if you're not sure with, I, did, I mean, you don't want to import a specific column into the HubSpot. And this part as well called don't overwrite existing value. Um, you need to um check this one i personally prefer to check this one because maybe i already have a past conversation with this guy and he used a different email address so i mean he has two email address and i don't want to overwrite the value okay so i'm gonna select don't overwrite existing value next and then do you want to create a specific lease for this yes i want to um let me call that angie is um a lot of us are assigned for the podcast outreach, so I'm gonna label it for myself. Uh no, I don't want to select, I don't want to add them on the marketing contacts. So finished. And yeah, so once done for sure it it wouldn't take long. So click this view here. So it's already imported. Now go back to the contacts and then lease. And you should be able to see your lease here. So right now I have a four um, contacts under podcast outreach lease. And I will have an upcoming tutorial about creating a active lease in HubSpot because there are two types of um, lease in HubSpot. There is a static. There is also an active. Now if you want to you want to update this podcast outreach um, most of the time, then you probably don't need to use the static lease. 